I grew up in the church um, experiencing the Eucharist a little differently. Um, frankly, I didn't really like it that much um, because it felt more like a funeral to me. Uh, I was in my seat and it was a time of confession, um, thinking about what I needed to confess. And um, it just felt very somber and it was quiet and it was, it seemed sad to me. Um, and then I got to experience the Eucharist. And that word comes from the Greek word meaning thanksgiving or joy. And to me, that was a life-changing difference that we got to celebrate um, life. Because after all, he's alive. We're not, we're not worried that he's still dead. Um, and it, to me, it was, it was just a real big change. So I wrote down eight things that I... Um, that I really love. City Church is by far not perfect, <laughs> um, but we, um, I love the intentionality behind things. Um, first of all, I love that it pr our service promotes freedom um, because we have a time of confession earlier in the service where I get to get that out of the way and then I feel free and I don't feel guilty. I don't need to worry about what I need to confess right then. Um, I mean, like throughout the service while I'm hearing other things. So I like that. I love that it's action. I love that we come forward and that we come together and that it's a participatory, joyful um, experience that we get to have. Uh, thirdly, I love the joy. I love that there's music. I love that we're singing. I love that it's happy. Um, and I love how personalized it is that the server looks me in the eye and says, this is God's body broken for you and his blood shed for you. And that to me um, is just very significant of what Jesus is saying to me right then. Um, that he's alive and he's there for me. Fourthly, um, or fifthly, I love how it makes me feel. Um, I have a hard time with my feelings sometimes and there's something mysterious about it. There, it's like a fifth gear or it's um, like I get to experience Jesus in 3D or something because um, not only do I hear about God's love, but then I get to taste his love. I get to experience it in a whole different way that I can't even explain. Um, fifth, I, I love, or sixthly, I love um, the message that even though we're imperfect or our lives aren't perfect, that Jesus is perfect. Um, and that frees me again. I love the mission that it's at the end of the service before we start our week and we're sent out to have our week in the world and um, have this good new perspective on um, experiencing God and his joy. And then fifthly, I love the reminder. I struggle with I don't know why I can't count today. Eight. This is eight. Um, I, I love that I, I have this um, spiritual amnesia that is chronic, that where I need reminders over and over and over that God loves me and that he is enough and that he is with me. And that's what communion does for me. So thanks so much.